I've got one of the best new construction finds I've ever found in my life. So let's check it out. All right, so we've got two switches here at the foyer, a light outside and a light in the foyer. So naturally you would think that this switch turns on this light, this switch turns on this light. Bear with me, it gets much better. Okay, so flip this switch on, we got nothing. All right, flip this switch on, we've got power. Still nothing there. Flip this switch on, now we've got power there. So this switch controls the power to this switch, which operates that light. So that in itself is not correct. It gets better. Okay, now we're in the front bedroom. This switch controls this light and it works fine, it's great. I've already checked all of these outlets for polarity. They have power, they're fine, okay? So we're done here, right? So let's turn this switch off. Let's come back over here. Let's shut this switch off. All right, now let's go back in that bedroom and see what's going on. So now we're back in the bedroom. Let's flip the light on. We've got no power at this entire bedroom and all of these outlets have no power because they're all tied to that switch in the foyer. Uh, just when I thought I had found them all, there's more bad wiring in this house. So let's check out the other one. This is our laundry room. We're gonna flip this switch on. We've got no power. Let's flip this switch on. We've got no power. Let's leave them on. Come around to our living room. That's gonna control these living room lights. Let's flip this switch on. That turns on these lights. Come back in here. Now our whole laundry room has power and these switches now work, but they're controlled by that switch there. So we've got some pretty significant problems here and this is a brand new build. So that one was pretty unique, but that's the reason why you should never, ever, ever skip a new construction inspection. Things like that, I mean, that took me a, a good minute to figure that out. I thought this was gonna be a quick job and that set me back a lot, but I mean, it's worth it. Cause that's a big deal that was found on a brand new house. So new construction, never skip the inspection. It's worth three to 400 bucks, whatever the cost depends on how big the house is. It's worth it to discover something like that. That could be a big problem. That would also drive you nuts. And when you move into a new house, you don't think it's gonna drive you nuts. So it's gonna be fixed. I mean, it has to be fixed, but that's an example of some of the things we find. So don't skip them.